Hey, so I thought I'd get back into vlogging and today I'm going to go and buy some new gear for my camera. So I'm going to buy a new lens and flash, hopefully, and I'm going to take you into the city of Adelaide. So let's get going. It's just starting to get colder in Adelaide now and uh, I actually haven't had a winter for about one and a half years or so because you know Vietnam doesn't really get very cold so not looking forward to winter but hey get to wear some different clothes I guess so I'm walking to the bus stop and I've got something to show you at the bus stop something that I did that was a little bit cheeky but I think there's a good intent behind it so tell me what you think in the comments <laughs> So here it is, I did this about maybe four or five years ago. So as the concrete was, uh, you know, drying, I thought, you know what, let's write something a little bit inspirational and I couldn't think of what to write, so I wrote live. And I think that's nice. Someone's having a bit of difficulty. <laughs> that's a long trip. And here's my bus. Feeling pretty damn hungry now, so I'm gonna get myself something to eat. And unfortunately, those food trucks were shut. So I'm gonna go somewhere else. And this is where I'm gonna go later to find some camera gear. But first to my favorite place to eat, which is Embraer's. Vegan burritos are a true blessing. Tasty, tasty stuff. <laughs> so I was listening to a Seth Godin interview on the bus and he said something that really resonated with me and that was people go where they grow. So it's a good, good little thing to keep in mind when you're inspiring people and just in life, you know, if you're encouraging people, they're going to want to be around you and if you're teaching them things and making, helping them grow, you're gonna attract you know, the right people in your life. So definitely my takeaway from that interview. So I ended up getting the lens and flash at Diamonds. The guy here was super helpful and I definitely recommend if you're in Adelaide to get your stuff from here. I actually compare the prices to things online and it's the same anyway, so why not, right? Uh, so I'm gonna take the new lens and go and take some photos around the uh, city. So it should be fun. So my, my whole kit is now complete. Because I have, well, complete for now. Every photographer knows that they're going to probably buy more stuff. Anyway, here is the new lens. Which is the 35mm, where are we? 35mm at 1.8. And let's try it out. It comes with the lens cap and the hood as well. And i also got this flash. Which is the evoking flash. And uh, I'm not going to use that here obviously, but that's for some nightclub photography that I'll be doing. So first up, this uh, depth of field is amazing. This is at 1.8. And the autofocus is super good too. Love it. It's a bit too light to shoot with, uh, with it on 1.8. So this is on 3.5 with ISO of 200 and a shutter speed of 2500. But man, you can already tell just the detail improvement it is so nice it's a little darker here so I can kind of show off the bokeh which is nice this is at 1.8 1600 shutter speed with an ISO of 200 and it auto focuses very quickly I'm gonna test it out here for uh, vlogging but I think it's gonna be too close so it was definitely a bit close, but the bokeh was amazing. I'm really liking this lens. I'm gonna go to the uni and take some photos because I think there might be some cool subjects there.
which I upgraded is from the kit lens at 35mm. So here are the two photos next to each other. So this is the flash evoking Speedlight VK360 and it's cool because it's got three uh, LED lights for video mode as well so that's pretty cool so I think I'll leave the video there thanks for watching and look forward to new vlogs I'll be vlogging a little bit more regularly now so thank you for watching again see you later and have a good day